we'll start with uh, last week. Obviously, disappointing defeat at Warrington. But uh, what did you make of the the team's performance as a whole? Um, yeah, I thought we were reasonable um, throughout the whole game. There was a big period there just after half time when all we did was tackle, and that that had a big toll on us, I think. But um, you know, we hung in there, and uh, you know, we, we weren't far off. But you know, it's disappointing because obviously we've had a, we've had a really good month. Yeah, four wins in a row before then. I guess it's just a matter of getting that uh, feeling back uh, before the game this uh, weekend against Hull. Oh, we definitely haven't lost lost that feeling. We feel you know we're, we're very confident in what what we're doing at the moment. Um, you know, and obviously it was working for us. And um, you know, I think I think Warrington put in a really good performance against us. And um, yeah, but we're we're, we're, look, we're looking at improving, and hopefully we, we can put in a good performance this weekend. I think in a sense it was almost a, a false position for Warrington. I know they were bottom of the table. They hadn't won, but we saw in the, in the performance against Brisbane that yeah. they were a, a very good side and, of course, got very close against Hull the week before. Yeah, uh, definitely. They're, they're, they're going to be up the top. Well, they should be up the top, shouldn't they? Um, I think it's too early on in the season to you know think that's got what the table's going to look like at the end of the year. Um, you know, and that, that would have took a toll on them that game against Brisbane. That was a you know a physical game, and um, as you've seen from us last year, that you know getting up for those kind of games can have a bit of a toll on you earlier in the season. And then you've got Hull this week, a, a team who were, were heavily beaten on Friday night. So uh, another challenge because they'll of course be chomping at the bit to get back up to winning ways. Yeah, they'll be ready to go, won't they? And um, you know, that, I know that they'll be expecting a big crowd, and um, and yeah, that they'll be up for, for us. Yeah. There's always a, a special atmosphere there, isn't it, for the uh, uh, Hull versus Leeds games. There's certainly no love lost between, uh, certainly from the Hull uh, end of things towards the Leeds uh, players. Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, it's a it's a hostile atmosphere, but, you know, as a player, you enjoy those type of things, and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Two games over Easter as, as a player, do you enjoy it, or is it a bit of a to- uh, toil on the body? It, it, it's tough. It is, it is tough, but, you know, it's there, and you just got to get on with it. Um, you know, uh, it gives people opportunities to you know get some game time under their belt, and um, you know, people. You know, it is, it is tough, but you, yeah, like I said, you just got to get on with it. I think it's something that, as the seasons, you know, as we go into next season, that we're looking at the, the structure for next year and the and the years going on. Is this something we need, we need to go just to one game at Easter? Because obviously, you know, we talk a lot about player welfare. It's not great having you play two games in the space of what forty eight seventy two hours. Yeah, you're right. It's uh, it's probably something that needs to be to be spoke about. We're, I'm probably not a person to talk about it because I don't know enough. But um, yeah, it, it's as a player, it is tough. But you know, it's there, and you just got to deal with it.